Gamers, new patch is out. My eyes are up here. New patch is out and we're about to take a little look at it. Uh, it's a side server side, side patch. So it's not a gigantic patch, but there's some huge changes. Very few changes, but huge changes. Before we get into it, I want to tell you guys a story before I forget. Um, my mom watches me, you know, playing tournaments and stuff. So I was streaming over the weekend. And she asked me, who is that guy yelling beastie all the time? And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, why are you playing? Someone does, and then beastie. And she's like, who is that? <laughs> so I had to explain her. A character in the game says it. And she's like, why does the character say your name? And I'm like, it, it, it's not what it's saying, but it sounds like that, right? And she's like, yeah, I thought it's someone's calling you the whole time and whistling at you. And I was like, no. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, let's look at the patch. Now that we got that out of the way. Um, so this just hit last night. I didn't stream last night. Um, I knew about these changes. You know, I, I am part of the... The group that, that that helps with the balance and, and changes and stuff. And this is why my HRE guide was delayed. Because I knew there's going to be changes to HRE. So, here we go. Mangonel now deals 50% more damage to range units. Attack radius increased from 075 tiles to 0875. Now, let me explain how this works, okay? Um, I might be off on some numbers, so please chat correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the general idea. Or, I, I'm pretty sure this is correct. Let me zoom in for the boomers out there. So, first things first. Um, Mangonel deals 50% more damage. So, Mangonel, with this, deals more damage to ranged units. So, Mangonel bu damage buff never got, uh, or damage never got nerfed. It was the radius that got nerfed that nerf damage overall because of how much splash it was doing now they're buffing the damage on ranged and apparently i haven't tested this i've just gotten a confirmation that this means that mangonel will be two shotting ranged units if they're getting hit in the main like middle clump right and it's three shotting in imperial once infantry units have the upgrade that gives them extra health okay so that's the that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, if people think this is too strong, in AoE 2, for example, Mangonel is like one shot, like 30 units. Okay, not 30, but like 15 units at a time. They just mow them down. So, um, is this too strong? Is this too weak? I mean, it's a buff. So, is it too strong? I don't know. I'm going to have to play and see. But this changes the game a lot. Now, attack radius increased from 075 to 0875. So... The radius used to be 125, if I'm not mistaken. Someone can correct me on this. So a lot of people said that from 075, it, uh, the, the, the range upgrade is 40% from what it was 075 to what it is now. But you have to remember, it used to be 125, right? So this is still uh, a very nerfed uh, AoE version of what it used to be at 125. But it, obviously they're trying to find like a middle ground where it, it's not complete trash, but it's not overpowered as well. So technically this is buffed, but it's, you know, it's buffed from what it is now, but it's still nerfed from what it used to be. So how is this going to change the game? Um, well, I, I've said before the, uh, you know, when, before the last patch hit that once they do the change they did, it will make range compositions completely overpowered and it was like we saw meta with just ranged units um you know hand cannoneers grenadiers longbows dominating quite hard so what does this change well um mangonels will again become very usable unit i need to change exactly or uh, check exactly how much this is like what i play and, and how it feels but mangonels should be a lot better and they're given a role. And that role, like, Mangonels used to be good against everything, right? And now Mangonels are a counter to range units. And they say here, Rebaldequin, they want to make it powerful versus melee units, right? So, um, it is a huge change. 
how the meta will develop. Uh, I don't think people will just not make ranged units. I think it might possibly even open up for more unit compositions. So you can either go uh, main gunnel, um, like man at arm or spearman into Springald to make sure you don't use your, your main gunnels and then kill enemy range units. Or on the other side, you can go pure ranged almost, and then go spring outs to kill the mangonels, right? So now there's this battle of playstyles, not to mention you can go cavalry uh, against ranged, in which case the enemy will need to build melee. So I feel like this added a lot to the possible meta. So this doesn't mean you cannot go range units, this just means you will need to hold the siege supremacy in spring outs versus mangonels, because if your opponent is making mangonels, then they shouldn't have the same amount of spring holds, right? So that's where the trade-off comes. So there's going to be a lot of counters um, back and forth, and, and I think it will create for a better gameplay. I might be wrong, but that's what I think. Uh, someone just said in the chat, it is 40, this uh, ra uh, radius is 48% nerf from what it used to be. So again, they nerfed the range half or radius, half of what it used to be, but now it does 50% more damage to range unit. We'll see how it plays out. If it plays out the way I think, I think it's going to be a positive thing. Uh, and it will also, uh, you know, we have a unit that breaks up those range clumps now, which is great. What does this mean for all civs specifically? Uh, I mean, this is a nerf to English, obviously. It's a civ that's very focused on ranged units. Technically, it's a nerf to Chinese because Chinese had nest of bees while the other civs did not have mangonels that did anything. But China will still be strong. It's just that... Uh, it makes them a little bit less uh, strong because other civs can do the same thing. There's more counter for Grenadiers. And actually a very big indirect buff, um, or potentially big indirect buff, to Mongols and Abbasid who can create uh, Mangonels on the field. So, especially for Abbasid, which was a civ that was maybe a bit struggling. So, that's kind of cool. Next one, Abbasid of Acid Dynasty. A reduced research time for House of Wisdom first tier text. So this is fresh food stuff, boot camp uh, reservation of knowledge, and Grand Bazaar from 60 seconds to 30. Now this is a big buff, guys. This is a big buff. Why is this a big buff? Well, um, basically you can create a villager in a half in that time, but technically it's two villagers because. So let me let me explain this. So fresh food stuffs makes your villager cost 50% less food, which is 25. So in these 30 seconds that you will gain, you can create two villagers. One won't be fully done, but it will start creating, which means you're saving 50 food, right? So that might not seem like a big deal, but it is a good buff, right? Like you are saving food that you can suddenly use somewhere else. So people like, I, I see people in the chat saying it's only 30 seconds. Well. 30 seconds in a, in a at a competitive level is a lot of time. And I think that the impact on the fresh foodstuffs is okay, it's a buff, but the bigger impact is preservation of knowledge when you hit castle, because you can start all your upgrades in castle 30 seconds faster, which is quite big, right? That is the big juicer. So usually, for those that don't know, with Abbasid, you want to avoid getting uh, uh, upgrades unless absolutely necessary. And then what you do is you get to castle with all this economy, you get preservation of knowledge, which reduces the cost of your upgrades. And then you queue up like eco upgrades, army upgrades, uh, uh, blacksmith upgrades. And this means that they will all finish 30 seconds faster, right? And yeah, potentially what someone is bringing up in chat, potentially even the important upgrades, you could wait 30 seconds before you get them. So I think this is quite a big buff for preservation of knowledge. The other ones, I mean, who cares? Um, I mean, I guess boot camp is nice for the late game. Like when you reach Imperial, you get that boot camp for the health of your army really fast. So that's also nice, but it's just a buff, right? Is it gonna break the game? No. Is it a buff that won't make the save OP? Yeah, it's a buff. So yeah. Now this is a big one. Holy Roman Empire. 
HRE will now start the game with a prelate and 100 gold less than they did previously. So HRE now starts with zero gold, but starts with a prelate, six workers, and a scout. Now, when I saw this initially, I was like, oh, that seems like a good buff. But it might be too strong. People did some, re some uh, maps, if you will. And apparently you get bonus 500 resources in 10 minutes. Apparently you can get second TC sub 5 minutes with HRE now. Because a lot of people are seeing like, oh, but this is just an extra villager. Which, you know, instead of building a, a scout and then prelate and then a villager, now you build a scout and then a villager. So a lot of people are seeing like, oh, but you just got an extra villager and that's it. Well, no. Because your first six villagers are getting a... Uh, 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 prelated straight away right so it's more than just one villager buff and look i don't think hre will necessarily be op from this i do think this is quite a big boost and that's maybe what they needed for feudal age i don't know time will tell but together with mangono buff that is gonna shred range units which was the issue of hre in the mid to late game Together with this buff will make them a lot, a lot stronger Civ. I'll say that. This might not seem like a big deal, but it is a very, very big buff. Now, if this becomes an issue uh, where HRE is like too strong, right? That sounds stupid to say because HRE was never too strong. But if HRE becomes too strong, what they can do is they can just remove one starting worker from HRE and that will like balance it out but for now i would like them to keep it and then maybe even see hre be a little op i mean why not so yeah anyway um that's a big one and like one thing that i i see uh you know that they're saying removing the starting old ensures they don't have a bonkers feudal age speed and now both are better than number of years with feudal age that's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is that HRE will be hitting Castle way faster now. Like, way, way, way faster. And if they hit Castle way faster, uh, Burger Palace might become an issue. As funny as that is, and as funny as that may sound, it might become an issue. But we will see. Perlets no longer become stuck inspiring an out-of-range target. Okay, I mean, I guess that's a bug fix. Not sure. 10 minute castle, uh, you can get like 7.30 castle with HRE now, or, or like, not finish it at 7.30, but you can like start it at 7, 7.30. So, yeah, that's gonna be a lot faster now. So we'll see. Mongol Outpost Yam Speed Aura now only applies to units within the radius and no longer lingers for 10 seconds. Now this is a big nerf. Uh, this is a big, big nerf. So for those that don't know, Mongol outposts have like the, the speed aura where if they ran past the tower, they get the speed buff and it lingers for 10 seconds. I honestly, I don't know, guys, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know about this one. Like, look, look I, I don't care what Civ gets nerfed or buffed. Like, I play all the Civs. Doesn't impact me at all. Um, but I feel this might be too much. Because um, the other Civs are slowly getting buffed over time. And I think I think Mongol is or was before this patch. Like, top two Civs still. But the thing is, other Civs got buffed. And now Mongol is getting nerfed. And there might, this might be the first time ever in the game where Mongo might be not S tier. So, I don't know how this is going to work out, but this opens up a lot of questions. Like, do you even go for uh, for the, uh, what's it called, deer stones now? Maybe opening trade is better. But that changes the way the Mongols is played. I don't know, but uh, this seems like, this is basically... You need to have towers not only connected, but you need to have them connected where you're fighting. Which I'm not sure how viable that is, right? I think it's a big nerf. I don't think it's going to make them like shit tier, but it is a big nerf and other sims are getting buffed. So 
Like I said, if there was any point in AoE 4 where Mongols are, are about to become not S tier, this is the one, right? But they might still remain S tier. Who knows? Um, yeah. Mongol Khan, Mongol Khan can no longer fire while on the move in the Dark Age. So this change is only to prevent uh, uh, Mongol Khan sniping the sheep when the enemy scouts are collecting. Because basically what happens is if, you, if the enemy Khan gets close to your scout while you have sheep, he will kill all your sheep. So this is just a nerf to that. Uh, I mean, I kind of liked it, but also hated it at the same time. Like, it's kind of annoying, but it also gives that uniqueness to Khan. So I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, it's probably a good change overall because I think a lot of people disliked it and, you know, weren't big favors, favorites of it. Um, they're fixing Danube River. I don't know if you know, but um, they basically had some kind of bug where like the boars were spawning in four or something instead of the original two that they were supposed to, something like that. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be making a little Civ tier list soon, obviously, about these things. And just kind of... Uh, Letting you guys know which sieves are going to be good, in my opinion, which sieves are going to go down a bit, and all the good stuff. I just need a day or two or three to play a little bit so I can get more knowledge, because I don't want to make a sieve tier list out of my ass, right? I want to make sure I know uh, what I'm talking about. Um, what's next? We've heard from players that shift queue commands need some attention. We're investigating our options now, as we can only provide specific changes via server-side patch. We're not able to include any changes to shift queue in this one. But we're looking to issue a fix for this in the near future. We're also continuing to celebrate the Vestal of Ages to keep an eye for more rewards. Um, yada yada. And that is it from the patch. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it. 